Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to replace a starter in a 2003 Honda Accord and this method will work in a 2003 all the way to a 2007 I believe as long as you have a 4 cylinder VTEC engine I'm also going to show you what tools you require to do this work it took me about 25 minutes so here we go Okay guys, so this is the engine for the car the starter for this vehicle uh, it's, it's right behind this, it's right there if you can see that metal silver thing back there that's the starter how do you know it's a starter it's always connected uh the first thing connected to the battery the positive cable um so to start off with we're gonna take apart all this so you can have access to the starter okay so before we even start we're going to disconnect the battery you can do either positive or negative i'm going to personally disconnect the positive and that will take care of that part first off i took off this nuts Get a size 10 um, and size 10 just take those off and then you can easily just pop this up and now we have access to what we have to remove I'm sure you exactly what hey guys we removed the battery we took off the cover uh, next step is, is really easy um, you can take off this hose if you want it gives you more space and uh, more flexibility once you open all the screws and everything just it's just a clamp right there but what you have to do, and I already did it, but um, just so I can make sure that was just the only thing you need to do. But um, just there's five, uh, four screws and three and two nuts, uh, and I'm gonna show you the position and the size of them. So it's right here as a screw. There's a nut here. There's a screw here. There's a nut here, and then there's a screw right there. And then if you look underneath, let me see if I can show you guys it's right about it's right here so if you see that hole right there there's a screw right there holding um, holding a, a bracket so there's a screw with a bracket you can't miss it it's down there I'll, uh, I'll show you guys some uh, different video of it um, so you remove those five they're size 12 I'm using a extension and a long uh, socket size 12 uh, and once you remove those you can just pull this out and once you pull it out you have some access to the starter so I'm going to show you the video of the screw at the bottom and then I'll show you guys the space that you can have to work with okay so if you see that hole right there I just added some brightness to the camera right there uh, and that bracket right there um, it's almost lined up with this one with this one down there and it's just a, a screw all the screws are the same size except for that one that one is a little bit smaller so make sure you put it on the phone yeah keep all my screws here on this side uh, and it's a size 12. okay guys so what I did was um, I disconnected all these clips which it's easy uh, I disconnected this one. I unscrewed this from from the bottom right there, just so it can give me more space. And I took off these two screws. They were size 10. This two here, that one, and that one, just so I can have more space to wiggle. And this was a size 10 as well. 10, 10, 10. I took those off and I unplugged everything. Uh, and now this is the space that it gives me. I can also Take this off. Okay. And now that's our starter right there. This is more than enough space to work with. Um, what I'm going to start first is this connection here. It's you can just pull that out easy. And then this is this. If I can get a good angle, it's just. Uh, a nut but I, I don't think you can use a socket I'm gonna try I'll let you guys know what size it is and, and that but we took that off we took that off and then there's I see there's two I'll let you know what you guys have to do next I also unclip this right. okay guys um, so this is a size 12 but you have to use a wrench because you won't have space 
Um, I already just loosened it. You just loosen that up, and then you can just take it off with your hands, and you can remove that. Uh, it's a size 12, but you have to use a wrench. Okay, guys. So I cleaned up the area a little bit. Uh, what I did was I just um, disconnected the clip from that square right there. Moved the cables. Disconnected it from there. It's very simple. And I clipped everything, and I moved the cable. If you can see, obviously, everything is here to the side. Now I'm gonna move to, there's two uh, nuts, or screws actually. So there's this one up here, oh, I'm sorry. This one, right there, this long one, and it's a size uh, 14. So this is a size 14, uh, and I'm gonna use the socket, size 14. And then the other one is, let me try and get a better angle. Where is, where there it is. That bad boy. And that is a size 17. So that's a size 17. And this one is a size 14. Uh, I'm going to take those two out and let you guys know what I find. But taking those two out, I believe I can just pull everything out. So it's 14 and 17. All right. All right, guys. Remove those two screws and... That's it. Come straight out. Yep. That's it. All right, guys. So it came out straight up. Very easy. Uh, perfect space. More than enough. Uh, make sure you keep it there. Um, this is the new part. Just actually just arrived from AutoZone. Um, I had to take this from my old part and put it in there. I paid $120 lifetime warranty from um, AutoZone. I have a commercial account, so maybe a little bit different, but nevertheless, it's about $120. And to install it, it's the same process, just in reverse. I'm gonna let you know if I find anything different, but I'm gonna go ahead and just place it in there and attach the two long screws. All right guys, so I put everything back together. Both uh, screws are in there. Came in pretty easy. Uh, don't forget the clips, uh, that clip, uh, the connector, that. I'm gonna reconnect this post. If you disconnected that, reconnect it. And then I can push this back. I'll show you guys what else to connect so you won't forget. Okay guys, so um, I put everything back together. I uh, remember to put the cover, uh, the little air hose in the back, it's connected. This one connected. These three clips connect those three. Uh, uh, those two screws that we took off in the beginning, one and, one and two, connect those. Um, and that's it. That's how to replace the starter on the 2003 Honda Accord. Um, through the manifold right here uh, very easy enough space it took me 15 20 minutes to take everything apart uh, it took me the same amount to put everything back together with the part so it's like a 40 minute job the tools that I showed you guys it's very easy if you like this if it helped you please uh, comment like it uh, subscribe and share this video with your friends Thank you very much. Have a great day.